Hello and welcome to another video on YouTube channel of tutorialspedia.com. In this video, I will be talking about TIPCO EMS message delivery modes and I will explain in detail what are different types of delivery mechanisms which are involved in EMS based message communication. Whenever we talk about EMS based uh, messaging model, we have a message producer and we have message consumers. Message producers are producing the messages and the messages are being sent to the destinations on the EMS server. EMS server sits in the middle between the producers and the consumers and uh, the destination can be a topic or it can be a queue. Whenever it's point to point communication we use queues and whenever it's a public subscribe mechanism then we use topics. And when we are using topics then the wording we use is publisher and subscriber for the producer and consumer. So in any case, uh, the, uh, there are some important concepts that we need to understand when publishing the messages or when consuming the messages. One of the important concept is the delivery method or delivery mode that is being used when producer is sending the message to the EMS. In this video, I will be talking about uh, different delivery modes that are available and I will explain in detail that what are the different types of delivery modes available when we use TIPCO EMS as our messaging platform and what are the specific uh, uh, use cases for these different modes and what kind of scenarios are best suited for each type of uh, delivery mode and I will also talk about some of the important key considerations that you must consider when you are implementing your solution using TIPCO EMS and at the time of delivering the message or at the time of uh, sending the messages to the EMS queues or topics you should keep those points in mind and decide what type of delivery mechanism you are going to use. Before I proceed in this video, I will request you that uh, if you haven't yet subscribed the channel, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon as I will be publishing more videos related to these uh, integration topics and there are plenty of other videos already published uh, on this channel which must be helpful for you. So let's talk about the types of uh, message delivery modes that are available for TIPCO EMS. The first uh, method or uh, delivery mode is persistent message delivery mode. The second option is non-persistent message delivery mode. And the third option is reliable message delivery mode. Now uh, in the subsequent slides, I'll be talking in detail about each of these delivery mode. And it is important to make sure here and just to clarify that Persistent and non-persistent delivery modes are basically the, the actual JMS based uh, message delivery modes but reliable message delivery mode is an extension or a customization by TIPCO EMS so it can be considered as an added delivery mode uh, by TIPCO itself in the EMS. So let's first talk about persistent mode as you can see in this picture we have a message producer and we have EMS server so as the name suggests persistent mode basically makes sure that whatever messages are created are published by the message producer towards the EMS either on a topic or on a queue those messages are persisted on a, on a storage for example in the file, uh, file system and for each message that is produced by the producer and sent to the EMS server an acknowledgement is sent back from the EMS server to confirm that the message has been successfully received by the EMS server. So in case of persistent mode message is persisted on the disk this means that uh, whatever message producer is going to send it is going to be stored uh, in, the, in the hard disk or in the file, file system. So in this case uh, for every message that is produced there is a confirmation coming back from the EMS server. So no matter how many messages you send for each of the message, if it's a transaction, of course, that will be a different case. But in general, if you are sending a message, then for that message, the producer will be expecting a confirmation back from the server that yes, a message has been con 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 successfully received and stored by the EMS server. In this case, as we are using a persistent mechanism and the messages are being stored into the disk, so even if there are crashes on the EMS server after saving the message to a disk that will not uh, cause any loss of data and messages will be uh, resent to the consumers once the EMS server is uh, live again after the crash. So this is the scenario where you are uh, making sure that your messages are persisted and saved and no critical data or no important data is lost for the EMS based communication that you are making using EMS server. 
so in this case what kind of scenario uh, you will pre prefer to use persistent mode for your messages of course it is for the data critical applications remember that whenever you are implementing your integration solution there are two scenarios normally one is you have data critical applications and the second is your time critical applications data critical applications are those applications where you cannot afford loss of data because it involves some critical data which must be con which must be uh, sent to the consumers uh, at the right time and you don't want and you don't you can't afford any loss of that data an example is the banking systems or financial systems where the data is very critical because money is involved with that data and you want to make sure that all the data that is being sent uh, from the producers to the consumers through the ems server is delivered to the intended consumers and even in the scenarios when ems server goes down or crashes or for any reason it becomes unavailable once it becomes available once again the data is not lost and it is it is uh, it is provided to the consumers as intended by the producers so another important point that you need to understand here for the persistent delivery mode is that if it is for the queues then it is generic case this that means that in case of queue based messaging communication with the persistent mode messages are always persisted but in case of topics there is a slight difference so if a message is sent to a topic it is going to be uh, sent into a persistent storage only and only if it has at least one durable subscriber or it has one subscriber with fault tolerant connection to the ems server so either of the two conditions must be met only then the message sent to a topic is going to be stored into a disk otherwise it's not going to be stored into the disks that means persistence is not going to happen for the topic if any of these conditions is, is if either of these conditions is met then it will be persisted otherwise it will not be persisted now another point which uh, you need to understand is that in this case if you are using persistent mode as i uh, as i already explained that you have an acknowledgement returned back from ems server for every message which means if you have a hundred of hundreds of thousands of messages being sent from the producer to the uh, ems server for some specific use case or for some specific application then you you must understand that equal number of acknowledgements are also going to be returned from the server to the message producer which means it's an additional network overhead and your network is going to be impacted your throughput is going to be impacted so whenever you have to use persistent mode you need to be very careful and you need to be very tricky and you need to be very smart to decide if you are going to use persistent mode or not so all these things all these points must be in your mind before you decide to use this method and this delivery mode should be only used for those applications where data is highly critical and you cannot afford even a single uh, message to be lost Another important point to understand here is that by default, the, 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 the message that you send from producer to the EMS server are stored into the disk in the asynchronous manner, which means that it is not, uh, the producer is not going to wait for this completion of the message storage into the disk before confirming to the producer. But there is an option that you can use to uh, choose change the mode to, the, to sync. Uh, use in, in your stores configuration file so in that case if you uh, change from default async mode to the sync mode in that case once a producer sends a message to the ems server then in a synchronous manner ems server is first going to store the message into the disk and then it's going to confirm or acknowledge to the producer so that is another different option that you are going to use so basically in this way you are already in a, in a situation where you already know that you have added uh, overhead for the network this is going to be an added overhead because now all the messages produced from the producer for every message you are going to wait for the disk operation as well but on the other end the plus point is that you are going to make sure that the message during the disk storage or during the persistence is also not going to be lost so if the message is not stored into the disk producer will know immediately that this message could not be stored so any action that you want based on that like retry mechanism or something else you can do accordingly now we are going to talk about the second method second delivery mode which is non-persistent mode as the name suggests this is opposite to the persistent mechanism so in this case message is produced by the producer sent to the ems server and in the in the in the default scenario ems server is not going to send an acknowledgement back back to the message producer and it is not going to store the message into the persistent disk 
but there are some points that I will be explaining here. So by default, there is no storage. Uh, not in, in by default, but in any case, there is no storage for the non-persistent message delivery mode, which means this is a clear-cut difference between the persistent and non-persistent mode. But if we talk about the confirmation or if we talk about the acknowledgement, by default there is no acknowledgement sent back from the EMS server to the uh, producer. But in case if authorization is enabled for the EMS, in that case a confirmation is required, which means that if you enable the authorization on your EMS server, then acknowledgement is going to be sent back from the EMS server to the producer. So in this case, uh, the confirmation mechanism becomes exactly similar to what we have for the persistent case. The only difference is that a message persistent to the disk is not happening. Another important point is that there is another option that you can use into the configuration file which is npsend underscore check underscore mode. So this parameter can be configured in the configurations to decide the condition for message confirmation. So if you have this confirmation uh, parameter set in your configuration file, then in that case this al will also be checked. So if conditions are met, then you are going to send the confirmation back to the producer. So basically there are two ways uh, by which you can control or you can decide if the server is going to send the acknowledgements or not. The first one is the authorization and this second one is NP checks, uh, NP send underscore check underscore mode. So in, if this is con this NP check, NP send check mode parameter is configured, then it is going to be decided based on the value of this parameter if the server is going to send an acknowledgement back to the to the producer or not. So if we talk about the use case for this non-persistent message delivery mechanism, it is ideal for time critical applications. As I explained earlier, you will have two types of application normally. One is data critical applications where you cannot afford loss of data and the second type of applications are time critical applications where data becomes irrelevant if it has uh, it, if, if it could not be delivered in a timely manner. For example, if you have some stock quotations data, you know stock prices vary, uh, have a variation uh, every second or even in, in a fraction of second also sometimes values of the stock change. So you want to, if you are implementing some application which is uh, passing this type of data, then you want to ensure that data must be uh, sent to the uh, server and then to the consumer at the real time otherwise there is no meaning of that data imagine that uh, you have some data for uh, let's suppose for the temperature of a particular city at some specific time so if that data could not be delivered at right time then for that real time application uh, for the temperature if you send that data after half an hour it doesn't make sense because definitely in the half uh, in that half hour the actual temperature being recorded must have changed so this type of situations where the data is very critical in terms of time, then you need to make sure that you use uh, this type of modes where uh, you don't uh, care about the storage, you don't care about the uh, loss of data, but what you care about is that it must be sent in a uh, timely manner. Since in this case, uh, if in case authorization is not enabled or if uh, the condition in NP send check mode are not uh, true, that means there are not going to be any uh, such confirmations so if the confirmations are not there then the uh, overall uh, overhead at the network level al is also going to be reduced but important thing to understand as i mentioned is that in this case uh, there is no storage so messages are lost in case of server crashes so you need to be careful to use this delivery mechanism only in the cases where your application can afford loss of data but it cannot afford delay in the data now talking about the third and the last uh, uh, mechanism for message delivery is reliable mode. So in this case message producer produces the message and it sends to the EMS server. So we just rely on it on this and based on the rely or on rely, reliance we don't care and we don't get any confirmation. So this is the simplest manner and this is actually a customization or an extension to the existing JMS based uh, uh, delivery mode. So this is the third uh, delivery mode which has been added by TIPCO as, an, as a customization for TIPCO EMS. So in this case, uh, uh, as I mentioned in, in this extension, there is no storage of messages on the disk. So uh, storage of uh, messages is only in case of persistent mode. In both other cases, that is in the non-persistent delivery mode as well as in the reliable delivery mode, there is no storage. And in this case, producer never waits for confirmation. As we were discussing, in case of non-persistent delivery mode, 
there were some options based on authorization based on np send check uh, parameter there there were cases where producer might be waiting for the confirmation where confirmation is needed but in this case for reliable mode there is no wait on the producer side for any confirmation from the ems server so if there is no confirmation this means there is no two way traffic ems server is not going to send any messages to the producer so we have a lower uh, overall network overhead and in, in this case we are going to have a better throughput and in this case producer always receives a success except for the ems server connection loss so this is important point to understand that even if there are some other issues uh, you still as a producer will be receiving a success only case where you are going to get a failure is when connection to the ems server could not be established so definitely if connection is not established it means you are not able to send the message so that is the only scenario where you will be receiving a failure otherwise you will be receiving a success from the ems server and this is again ideal for the time critical applications so both reliable mode and the pers non persistent mode uh, fit for the use cases of uh, time critical application but in this case since throughput is going to be even better than the non persistent mode if the in, because in that case if the authorization is enabled or np send check parameter is uh, configured in that case there are situations where you are going to have some acknowledgments as well but in this reliable mode there is no such thing so all the messages are going to be sent unidirectional from the producer to the ems server so it is uh, pretty much ideal for the time critical applications but you need to understand that uh, there might be data loss in this case as well so that's it from this video uh, about uh, different message delivery modes i hope that this information which i try to make as simple as possible will be helpful for you if you have any question you can write in the comment section and for more uh, content like this you can visit my website tutorialspedia.com and also you can subscribe to this channel where i have uh, plenty of other videos about uh, different integration technologies that's it from this video i'll be uh, publishing some more videos in in upcoming days so stay tuned thank you very much